In 1943 in Deport, Texas, Geraldine Griffin exchanged vows with her high school sweetheart, also an engineer in the Army Air Corps in Europe. It was his service that eventually brought the family to Dias Air Force Base and Geraldine to the front door of First National Bank of Abilene, now known as First Financial Bank. Jerry, as she was known, learned about the banking industry from her father-in-law and worked as a bookkeeper before her promotion as the first female teller to work at the First National Bank of Paris in Texas. When the family landed in Abilene in 1963, naturally she attempted to resume her career. Jerry's journey for employment took her bank to bank, where she faced rejection several times because women were not hired as tellers. She then knocked on First National Bank's door. Bank leadership lauded her experience and hired her immediately. During her career, she was promoted from teller to assistant cashier and in 1984 became the bank's second female vice president. Jerry's contributions to the bank, including opening the Pine Street Motor Bank location, can't be overstated, and she was awarded Outstanding Employee of the Year before her retirement in 1989 after 26 years of service. Despite all her achievements, both personal and professional, it was her hiring and mentorship of other women of which she was most proud. Jerry passed away in 2019. One of the closing paragraphs of her obituary so aptly defined her. At her core, Geraldine always believed in the advancement of women in the workplace, the strength of families, keeping with trends, and doing what others said could not be accomplished by a woman in her time. This has been a First Financial Bank Women in Banking Moment in History.